What's up guys, it is the Gaming Goblin and welcome back to another Concord video. Uh, I found the notes that I took about this game the other day since the last video. Um, so let me just quickly parse over. Basically in the first video, I kind of detailed the backstory of this game, you know, it's, it's infamous reputation and reception this past week. And we did a demo game uh, playing as Haymar, showcasing some of the abilities and the gameplay of Concord. Um, but a couple more observations I, I had about the game. Um, uh, one thing I forgot to mention was that uh, there's absolutely no storefront in this game as the moment. As you can see right here on the home page, there's no store tab. There's no in-game transactions at this time, which admittedly makes sense because this is a paid game. It's $40 to get into it. Um, so you don't have to worry about microtransactions at this time, quite frankly. They'd be stupid to put out microtransactions at this point, considering it's not doing very well review-wise. And we touched on the progression in the end of the game last time, but the progression is very fast and rewarding. There is a lot to do and unlock. Um, another thing, too, is uh, both on PlayStation and on Steam, uh, all the achievements are metric-based. It's like, get 100 kills with this guy, get this character to level 10, you know, get so many kills, complete these many objectives, blah, blah, blah. They're all metric based, so if you're an achievement hunter, just by playing the game you'll be progressing your achievements, and I do not see it being completely unreasonable to 100% the game. Now some of the metrics are pretty high up, like one of them was get your account level to 100, as you can see. I'm only level 18, and I've only been playing for, I've already been playing for about 8 hours, so it's going to take a while to 100% it, but there's no like weird oddball shit that's, uh, that's too outside the realm of casual play. Um, matchmaking, like we touched on before, surprisingly fast despite the low player count. And another point I wanted to make too, and, and we did play this game mode in the first video, was that there is a pure deathmatch slash kill confirmed game mode, which I love. I don't believe, now correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe Overwatch has that. I, I'm not a big fan of the objective game modes, aka push the cart. That seems to be the main gameplay in Overwatch is you just push the objective, attack, defend, that type of stuff. They might have a deathmatch now. I haven't played the game in two years. But but having a pure deathmatch mode right out of the gate with a game like this, I love it. I, that's usually what I play in Call of Duty is deathmatch or kill confirmed. So I really do like that. Um, and let's see what else. Yeah, like I said, you know, every character has some kind of variant of double jump. I think there's only one or two characters that don't have a kind of double jump. Um... Another thing, too, is that the map variety isn't the greatest. After eight hours of play, I've encountered maybe six different maps, and they're pretty stylistically different, but there's like a handful that kind of feel and look the same. Map size-wise, it's really not too bad. It's not a whole uh, chore to kind of navigate, um, you know, maps. Um, they're, they're pretty contained and they got a lot of options and lanes and pathways for you to navigate, which benefits the type of platforming you can do in the game with your double jumping or your floating. You can jump up on buildings, structures, uh, zip around, take shortcuts. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, it's really, really not that bad. Uh, we touched on, there's no ultimate abilities in the game. Um, I'm trying to see what else here with my notes and we're, we're going to hop into a game shortly. Uh, let's see. Oh, there was another thing, too. The limited edition PS5 Concord controller. Um, it's actually, that that looks pretty cool. It's an $80 controller, which I think that's how much most limited edition controllers are. That's probably the best thing to come of that game. Take a look at that controller when you have a chance. I'm not editing this video. I'm just doing it all in one take, so I'm not going to put up a picture of it in post. Uh, but I encourage you to look it up, and if you if you're in need of a controller... Maybe grab that if you're willing to spend a little bit more. Um, okay. So without further ado, let's jump into a game. We're going to try to play a different character that isn't Haymar. I'm going to try to shoot for Lennox. But Lennox is a very popular character. So um, here's hoping I can actually grab him. Uh, and that's another thing too, is you're not locked to one character the entire match. Every time you respawn... You can pick a different character, so you can play around with a bunch of different uh, character types as your preference dictates or as the situation dictates. Maybe you're in the middle of a match, you need some healing, your team is taking damage, you could switch to someone like, um, I forget his name, the fat one. That doesn't narrow it down. What's he called? 
This one. Da. You can switch to Da <laughs> if you need some healing. <laughs> uh. Now look, I, I know I, I was I was kind of praising this game in my first video, um, and that's kind of like the bullet, the main bullet point of this short series that I'm making on Concord, is that despite the negative press this game has gotten, actually playing it isn't that bad. But that does not mean it's going to be free from the Gaming Goblin's classic iconic bitching and criticism, don't you worry. And uh, I do have another observation to make once we get into the game um, that's pretty unique, but I could kind of touch on it now. But it's easier whenever we see what's going on, but... I don't know if you noticed in the first video, but your abilities, your Q, your E abilities, they, uh, most characters, they do not recharge automatically. Um, in order to get more, like, for example, Haymar's, you know, flashbangs or her fire shots, you need to actually kill enemies and basically pick up ammo to refill your abilities. Um, I don't think it has to be exclusively enemies that you kill. You could just see ammo lying around from downed enemies, and you can grab it. Um... I think that's that's different, honestly. Now, there are some characters where you could charge their abilities or they refill over time, but there's like a cooldown. So it really depends on your character. I haven't played... There's 16 characters you can play in the game at this time. I've only played maybe like 6 or 7. Oh, see someone grab Lennox. Fuck, we'll do Daw. Me and my crew. Me and my crew. But, yeah. And we'll, we'll see that here shortly. I think Daw is one of the ones you can actually charge his abilities. Um, but yeah, let's hop into a game. I'm really only playing the deathmatch right now. I could show you the objective game mode, and the one that I played last time I did this, uh, not off recording, it was kind of like a domination type mode. There's three points, capture at least two of them. You, you build up your score. So the game modes are pretty cool. There also appears to be like a ranked mode, like a search and destroy type thing where you have like permadeath for the round. So... Now, this is the healer character. Despite that, despite that, he's got a pretty powerful gun. Like, he can deal some damage. I don't think I've encountered a character yet that is purely support. Like, even if you do have support features, you can still deal some pretty decent damage on your own. So, I'm going to throw down a heal pad here. And if you stand in the area, you get a heal. Now, you can see right over my Q button here. Fuck. I'll throw another one here. So you can see right here, um, I can either hold Q to recharge on my Q ability, or I can down enemies and pick up the ammo to refill it. I forget what his E does. Oh, it puts down like a protective barrier. I'm hoping we can get into a Lennox game soon, honestly, because uh, he's he's might be my favorite character. Oh, I almost had him. Damn it. But I got an assist, at least. Look at this guy. He's looking right at me. He kind of looks like uh, Michael Rooker's character in Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm getting a I'm getting a big Guardians of the Galaxy vibe from this, too. The other character, Star Child, is basically... I think he's Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. The, uh, the Dave Bautista character. There, It feels like there's a lot of... Um, Guardians of the Galaxy inspiration, admittedly. Another thing, too, that uh, I wasn't able to record is that they have, like, these little... I think they call them vignettes, or vignettes. I can't pronounce that word. I apologize. Butcher me in the comments, please. But they have, like, little cutscenes. Um, they're they're kind of doing, like, a week-by-week -week release, so we're in week two right now. Um, and each week, they appear to have some sort of cutscene where you can kind of see the characters interacting on the ship. There's the Drax character, Star Child. And uh, you kind of see their interactions, and you get a little bit more lore and things like that. You know, I, I mostly skip them, especially since they play the same one every time you log into the game. Um, but I, I guess it's a way for world building and kind of getting to know the characters' personalities a little bit more. See, look, Drax, right there. Here's the mushroom character from Battleborn. I didn't play Battleborn, so I don't know. But I remember there was a mushroom guy. Let's actually focus up and try to get into the game. I was talking a lot last video for this, and I kind of got most of it out of my system. So this is going to be probably just more of like a gameplay focused thing. Did he say Groot? Hey! Damn it. 
I'm not doing so hot this game. <laughs> Here's a robot. There's the scary one. Me and my crew. Itzy. I'm gonna see Itzy in my nightmares, dude. Fucking terrifying. But you see what I mean about the like, the uncanny valley type shit? Like this is a this is like if Polar Express was a first person shooter. <laughs> uh There's a kill. Oh man, I almost had him. Now remember, I am a healer. I'm not a fighter. I think this is the sniper character. Me and my crew. I haven't played a lot of these yet, like I said. There's 16 characters, which is honestly a pretty nice roster. All game modes appear to be 5v5. I haven't seen one that isn't 5v5, so... You have a lot of options of trying a bunch of different stuff within in the course of a game if one character you're playing isn't really working out. There hasn't really been a character I've absolutely, like, despised yet. And I also prefer to play, uh... Hipfire. Ah! I prefer hipfire as to aiming down sights, which, again, I kind of relate this to Quake a little bit. <gasps> we can switch to Lennox. Let's switch to Lennox. Right. Let's check it out. Now, he's fun. He's got a six-shot revolver. He's got a self here with his Q, and he has an exploding knife with his E. And he just has the classic sprint and double jump. Knife! like the annoying orange so as you can see right here on my e ability and my uh my q ability it says re elimination recharge or pick up after elimination so i guess there's two types you get an automatic recharge for killing and then you get one for picking up after killing so there we go we'll try to find a pickup here There we go. Now this robot seems to have a suck ability, where he just can't take damage while he's sucking. Oh. Okay, it's a 20 second recharge on the uh, health pickups, not 15. I thought it was 15, my bad. And these games are pretty chaotic. Like, this is the type of game where, like, I have to give it, like, my full attention. So I apologize if I'm, like, just rambling or saying the same shit. But, uh, it's... It's interesting. Like I said in the first video, like I, I, as long as there's players playing this game, I see myself, you know, checking it out a couple games every now and then. Honestly, like I, I don't plan on refunding it. You can get critical hits, like in most games. You know, if you get headshots or critical body part shots, um, that does help you. Oh, heal, heal, heal. Oh. So that right here, see? Walk over that, boom, I get a I get a knife refill. That's what I was talking about. I was trying to demonstrate it in game. I finally was able to. And that's how you're able to recharge some of your abilities um, for certain characters. Oh, we only need one more. It's nice and tight. Incoming. Oh, that was coffee. I shouldn't have jumped into that. There we go. Another game won. I'm glad I'm winning games on recording, because I've had some losing streaks off camera. And look at that too, did you notice? You get 4,500 XP just for completing a match, and you get an extra 500 for winning. So, <laughs> they're really incentivizing you to just play the game, which is fair, considering at this point, they really need players. Look at that, I completed a daily, got some progression, all is well. Ain't that something. But yeah, yeah, that was, that was another game of Concord. Um... Oh, see? I can show you the Galactic Guide now. 
I think this is a neat idea. I personally don't care about it, but it, it's a neat way to present the lore. So I've got a notification all the way up here. Some info on Daw, the wide-eyed medic. You can kind of see uh, the character profile. And then you get lore level. Again, I don't know what that means. I don't know what you get from that. Maybe it'll be something that's fleshed out in the future. You know, I'm sure they have a roadmap for this game. And they're kind of just waiting to see its reception after a couple weeks. You know, a new game comes out, there's going to be hot opinions and, like, controversy. Either one way or another. Like, people really love something or really hate something and then as time goes on things kind of simmer down a great example is this game for the negative controversy you know people are hating on it and i think it's i think it's fair don't get me wrong i think it's fair to criticize this game there there's a lot that's wrong with it mainly the 40 dollars price tag um but then an example of an incredibly positively received game is that new wukong uh, black myth game that's been getting incredible reviews lately people are loving it but I foresee, you know, in the coming months, things might sort of peter out and we'll get a more, like, level-headed look at the game. Um, not that I'm saying that game doesn't deserve its success. From everything I've seen and I've had, I have friends playing it, it looks like a fun time. But my point I'm trying to make is that give these games time to actually get a real opinion on it. And I'll admit, too... The Steam reviews of this game are pretty uh, balanced, pretty fair, I would say. There's people calling out the stuff that I've been calling out that they don't like. But the positive reviews are actually highlighting the points that I've been talking about myself, like the really decent gunplay, the surprisingly quick queue times. Um, so I, th I think the reviews are fair from what I've seen on Steam. We have some unlocks for DAW. What do we got? New outfit. Polar. That's what that's what we need. I haven't seen a snow ice snowy ice map yet. I love snowy ice environments in games. I wish there was one in this. Maybe there is. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But yeah, there we go. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, if you, have you played Concord? If so, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. Do you want to see more of this? I, I plan on only doing a couple videos. I'm probably gonna do one other video to showcase a different character. Um, but then, you know, if you guys do want to see more, or if you want to see me, like, stream this, you know, this is a game I could chill with for a couple hours on stream, let me know. Um, I, I'm viewing these videos as a way to show people the game that ha maybe haven't heard about it, or maybe have heard the controversy, and they have no plans on checking out. This is a way that you can check it out without dropping $40. So let, let me do the hard part of buying the game. Um... But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.